Hey everyone, welcome yeah. back. Welcome back to another video. Today, what we're going to be talking about is very interesting. I'm going to be I'm interviewing a good friend of mine. He's a software engineer at Amazon. And today we're just going to be talking about the Amazon interview process, um, how it went, how many steps are involved, and how you guys can succeed in getting a job at Amazon as well. So if you want to introduce yourself or say what you do, uh, go ahead, buddy. Hey, everyone. I am a software engineer. SDE one at Amazon, and this was my first job right out of school. Nice. So, what's a what's an SDE one? You should mention that software developer, software development engineer one. Mm -hmm. It's like the base level, entry level engineer at Amazon. So it goes like one, two, three, four. Yeah. So there's SDE one, SDE two, SDE three, and then there is principal engineer. Funny story, I got rejected like two weeks after I applied. So just like applied early December, mid-December, I got rejected. And then I just like forgot about that. And then they they emailed me out of the blue in April asking me to do an interview. And yeah, that was the start of that. Nice. So you applied through Amazon University. That's just for new grads. And then other, mm -hmm. like if you're not a new grad, you would apply to the normal portal or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Sweet. So can you tell me about, uh, each, how many steps of the interview process there were and maybe go into detail about, uh, <laughs> what they asked you at every step? Yeah. So there were three different, they call them OAs, online assessments. So online assessment one was, so when they first contacted me about being accepted for an interview, they will they um, will first expect you to respond saying like, yes, I'm interested. And then they'll respond with that, with a link to an assessment that you need to do within 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And so this assessment is basically like an IQ test. It was two parts. So the first part is an IQ test. Um, I get stuff like pattern matching, just like basic math problems. So like pattern matching, for example, would be they'll give you like one sequence of letters, like A, B, C, D, and then another sequence that's like H, I, blank, blank. And then mm -hmm. you have to fill out the blanks. So stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, that was, I think, like an hour and a half long. And then there's a second part to that first online assessment, which is um, they give you a coding problem and then they give you uh, an existing solution to that problem um so for example let's say it's like the problem is sort an array of numbers then they'll give you code in whatever language you choose to do this in that almost does what the problem asks for but not quite so for example um if it's sorting numbers then the code they ha they give you might do like in the for loop there might be like uh i minus minus instead of an i plus plus something small like that yeah so you would have to find what the small bug is fix it and then you can run it against their test suite and uh yeah and then make sure that it works so i think there were like five or six of those problems that were all just like very small like less than one line changes oh true okay yeah, so that was the first part. And then I don't think you can get rejected after the first part. They'll just, as soon as you respond, they'll, after a few days, they'll give you the second part. So the second one is pretty interesting. It starts off with a work simulation. So that is, um, they give you, the, it's like a website that has um, like an email terminal, like a, a fake email terminal and like a fake chat messenger and it's all like scripted so you'll turn on open website and then you'll get like an email from your manager saying like uh oh like this someone contacted me about this issue can you go take a look for me and then you'll have like a multi-choice multiple choice uh choices for how to respond to the email and then you hilarious and then you can like, yeah. So based on what you respond, like other things will happen. It's like a game. It's literally pick so, your own adventure. <laughs> yeah. So like it gets, 
it's pretty that's honestly pretty fun and then um it they, they're kind of there's very little like programming there is some programming you might like one of the emails you might get is just like some code or like i think it was actually like logs from a program and then they're like can you like what happened in these logs like where is the problem and then you can identify like select what the problem was um and they're mainly looking for how you prioritize things so if you get like two emails that are asking you to do two completely different things one is let's say one is like a bug that is currently affecting customers and one is like a feature request from your manager how do you prioritize them like which one do you do first mm -hmm. so yeah stuff like that um, and then the second part of this second assessment is just a coding there's two coding questions so you know they're like just a blank sheet blank page you give given a question you have to code up a solution i would say it's like lead code medium maybe yeah so the first part um was like a take-home assignment right mm -hmm. and, and then the second part was also like you just do it at home at your own pace yeah there's just you just you're well you're given a timer but there's no one watching you or anything and it's 24 hours the second part you have 24 hours to complete or um no i think it's like two hours for that email stuff and then like an hour or maybe 90 minutes for the second the coding question cool cool what happened after that mm, so then i've only done this process once so i only know what happened with me but i believe that that's where they make a decision to some extent like either you can get rejected or mm. there's two ways that or there's two things that can happen you can either what happened with me is i had uh i met online with someone from amazon that interviewed me um basically what he, what would happen was he would go through my code from the those coding questions that were at the end of the assessment too he just like had my code up on a screen and was like just walk me through what you wrote and like how could how you could improve it and stuff like that Mm -hmm. So I wasn't actually writing any code for this person. I was just explaining my code. And so that was pretty easy. But I believe that there's another possibility in which you have to write code in front of someone else and like explain just like a standard coding interview. But I didn't experience that. Oh, okay, cool. And that was the last step? Yeah, that was it. And then I got an offer, I would say, within like a week of that, mm -hmm. of that last interview. Cool. Nice. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. So uh, can you tell me a bit about how you prepared for the interviews? If you prepared, like what your kind of strategy was to get ready? Yeah. So I had a few interviews around the same time. Like I had a Google interview and this interview within a few, like, a week of each other. So I kind of just prepared for all of the interviews at the same time. And I would prepare for Google or Amazon the exact same way. Um, just a bit of a cliche, but just grind lead code for as long as you can tolerate. I did, I probably still have done more. I did maybe like half a week of grinding, mm -hmm. uh, like five to eight hours a day for half a week. Um, and then the day before the interview, I would uh, ask my friends to just take a random like medium or hard problem from lead code and just like give it to me. Basically, do like a fake a fake interview with me, like read out the question, and then I would get a whiteboard and draw the solution for them as if it was a real interview. And yeah, I would highly recommend doing that because it's very different from just like sitting at your laptop with your headphones in like typing up a solution nice nice and so like if you could do it again is there anything you would change about mm -hmm. how you prepared yeah i would well i got the job the mm -hmm. amazon job so i'd say for that in that front i was i would not do anything different but i didn't get the google job so i would say i definitely would have should have prepared more like in terms of just grinding lead code because there's just there's nothing there's not that much else to it except just like seeing 
every question there is and like I guess like gaining an intuition on how certain problems can be solved. True. All right. Well, that's everything I had to, I wanted to ask you. Uh, thanks a lot for your mm -hmm. time, man. Yeah, no problem. Good luck on your interviews, everyone. Yeah, guys, guys, take all this advice. Uh, this guy's like very successful. He's a, he's a really smart guy. And I, I would take everything very seriously. What he's saying, if you want to draw with a huge company, like there's nothing else you have to do. Just, you know, follow these steps, listen to his advice and you'll get success. So hope you guys have enjoyed and uh, thanks a lot, man.